the genius of Vitalik Buterin's multi-client implementation approach was seen this morning. So obviously, there was that incident regarding you know, the exploit of Geth. And so the parity node was running. So this alludes to the importance of a robust and multi-client implementation of the Ethereum network. So good afternoon, everyone. My name is TJ, and I'm here on behalf of Ethcore. So Gavin Wood is unable to attend today. He's spending time with his newborn baby. So I hope I will be able to present on behalf of Ethcore and on behalf of the team. If you don't mind, because we are here in China, I'll say a few words in Mandarin. 各位观众，大家好，我叫苏宗静，我就是Ethcore创立者之一。今天很高兴、很荣幸，在大家的面前发布我们最新的巴黎地以太坊客户Parity. So, I, I hope Vitalik doesn't mind that. Um, today we are so excited. We are so excited to be here to launch Parity's UI. So we, we, know the importance, we know the importance of contributing and growing the Ethereum ecosystem, and that is what Ethcore is focused upon. We have an amazing dev team, and it is our passion to, pro to provide and create amazing software. So today will be about the launch of Parity's UI, and we want to continue making it easier for developers and users to leverage and utilize the amazing Ethereum network. So we want to thank the foundation and everyone that has been involved in the organization of this event, especially Ming and Vitalik. So what we have done for Ethcore, a little bit of background. Ethcore is made up of many of the alumni of the Ethereum Foundation. We have a great relationship with the foundation. And we present to you the Parity Ethereum client. It is a high-performance client written in a very safe language, Rust. It's a very new language created by the Mozilla Foundation. And what we tried to do was to do a clean room implementation, to take the lessons that we've learned, you know, building the, the, the different clients with the foundation, and to put that into a high-performance client that we can bring to everyone. So, we believe that the ecosystem has a tremendous potential for growth. However, it requires basic infrastructure. For example, the roads and electrical, electrical wiring and the plumbing to make sure that everyone is, everything is set out there for people to build on. For example, it is important that the network runs at all times. This is mission critical. So what we try to do is to ensure that the infrastructure is there for people to build on and leverage. Today, what I'm going to show you, the Parity UI, has that in mind. It is the focus of the UI, and it's our gift to developers and application developers everywhere. So in tomorrow's session, my esteemed colleague, Akadi, will be presenting on Parity's performance and security. I really encourage you to attend the event. It will be very technical. Today, I'll just be walking through the UI, the shiny, amazing UI, never before seen by everyone. And I hope that you guys enjoy that. So we really think the team at NIST has have done a really amazing job. And what we tried to do was to take some of the ideas and reimagine it in a new and different way. For the first time, the client and the UI will be natively baked in. By downloading the Parity client, you will have the native UI built for your use. You wouldn't have to download any other external application. We are going to we are in discussions, you know, to support MIS to ensure that you know that MIS is compatible with the with the Parity client. But this is our reimagination of how a UI could look like, and we spent a lot of work looking at it, thinking about the various security design features, and ensuring that the UI is baked into the client. So for the first time, running a full node, you'll be able to see a user interface for 
for, the, for each and every one of you to use. So there it is. <laughs> okay, before you get too excited, this will only be going to beta in the next release, so it's not out yet. Uh, the next beta release will be over the next uh, three weeks or so. Why is it so amazing? Why is this blank screen so wonderful and so amazing? This is a Chrome browser. By simply typing in localhost into the URL line, you are able to interact directly with the Parity client, directly with the full node. Think about that. You wouldn't have to download anything. For the first time, you wouldn't have the you know, command line. Now everyday users can build stuff, wouldn't need to mess around with the security, can have a wonderful UI just for you to use. So that is our gift to you. So it is packed full of features. Before I go into it, I'll be talking through the video. Packed full of features that we hope will dramatically change the user experience, OK? So I will show you now the UI, the first glance. OK, this is, this is uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you a video in a bit, but I'm just going to talk through a few of the screenshots so that you understand where everything is going. This is the. This is the first screen that you, that you come across when you enter the Parity browser. It allows you to set up an account, very similar to what you're used to. The UI is designed to be very clean, very intuitive. It's designed for my mom and dad, my grandparents, to be able to use, to be able to use the power of the Ethereum network to leverage that decentralized network. You are able to do, obviously, client imports. This is on a full live node. Think about it. This UI will come shipped with the client. Are you all ready for the video? Yeah. OK. OK, so right now we have the client being uh, run in the background, and we are setting up an account. You have this identicons, you know, that map from a key, a image which allows you to remember your key. And we have a UI which is, you know, natively designed, allowing people to use it very easily. It integrates with Get Key Store if you want to do that. And suddenly you have the UI baked on top of your client. Now we're doing a quick transfer, just Ether transfer. And this is the key feature here. This is the parity signer, which ensures the level of security which the end user actually needs. So that developers won't have to mess around with that kind of stuff. So you see the transaction there. You have an address book, and you can just save the address as well. So it's a very intuitive user interface. We are focused on the core technology. We are focused on building a high-performance client, but we don't think that just because you have a high-performance client, you have a crappy UI. No, we believe in that, that, that the two things come together. So the next part of this presentation will be what should really excite all of you. It is targeted at de dApp developers. It's targeted at dApp developers to create that infrastructure which should have been uh, there so that you don't have to mess with security, so you don't have to like, wreck your mind thinking about UI, how am I going to keep it safe, do I route it through a server, am I going to get shut down by the regulator, things like that. So we want to ensure that dApps have the necessary infrastructure to function in a decentralized network the way it was intended. So. This is the dApp UI here. We have Gavcoin, because even though Gavin is not here to join us, he is here in spirit, and he sends his love. So this is an imagination of how dApps can look like and how people can use the parity client to integrate whatever dApps they are creating. Dapp tokens are given equal citizenship status in the UI to Ether, OK? And we'll see what that means in a bit. This means that you can do whatever you, you're required to do with dApps. 
uh, with the DAP tokens in the same way as you would you know, with Ether. It's treated in the same way, and uh, we, we, we know that it's just as important, and we want people to build amazing stuff on this network. So this was the trusted signer that um, I talked about. This thing has an emoticon, an uh, identicon on the bottom to ensure that the user knows that it is trusted. You can trust Parity. We sandbox all the dApps from Parity itself. This means that you don't have to worry about dApps accessing particular of the client ports, you know, compromising security, any of that issue. As long as this Parity trusted signer is there, you can make the trans transaction. So the really beautiful thing about this is that this thing is not routed through a central server. It is done natively on the client side. You are the one doing all of these transactions the way that Ethereum was designed to do. As long as the DAP tokens adhere with the ERC20 standard and is on the parity DAP uh, token registry, it will automatically be integrated into the DAP UI. I talked about the trusted signer in a bit. Tomorrow, Arkady will uh, talk about a little bit about the technical aspects of the trusted signer and what goes behind in the machinery at the background. But I just want to say a few things about it. That you can actually go into the signer and ensure that the transaction is done in the way that you intended it. So you have a level of trust in the Ethereum network, you know, in interacting with dApps that currently may not exist if you just use the command line. So now will be the depth part of the video. Are you guys ready for that as well? OK, so now we go into the depth part. Gafcoin is a toy depth, you know, just to show you what is possible. Now we buy coins. This is just a toy. OK, so we buy coins using the Ether, test Ether, and we trans tran transfer it into the account. The debt is functioning in the background, and we can see, oh, wow, the transaction is locked. Now we go to parity, and we see, OK, now the account has this new debt token in it now. We can transfer the token. This is the first class citizen um, treatment that we talked about. And we can now send the tokens between different accounts. So this is, we're not running any server. This is completely on the client side. And now this trusted signer allows you to key in your password, and you can trust Parity. And now you can see that the account has a few of the debt tokens in it. So we are, we are so happy to be here today and to present to you the launch of the UI. This will be, um, the, the UI will be coming out around about the same time that this video will be put up on YouTube in about three to four weeks. So we are really excited to be bringing this to you. And um, if, if, if there's nothing else, you know, I would just like to thank the organizers of this event you know, for doing such a wonderful job here in Shanghai. And uh, hello to everyone. Thank you, TJ. <laughs>